If you have seen some of our past episodes, you know that we have had a few problems when it comes to our engine starting. Well, these problems have been continuing. So we knew we needed to ask for help, which is why we called upon a friend we made online named Sam, who works at a local hot rod shop. Sam came by one weekend and we got right to the root of our problem, the carburetor. We started by narrowing down our problem, which were a bad choke linkage movement and a bit fast idle screw. So it should hit the, the tallest one first, then there, mm -hmm. then there, and then come off completely. And after a few quick adjustments, it was definitely starting up better. Got it. Sounds a little different. It's quieter because yeah. you're not hearing the air to the car. Oh, there you go. Thank you so All much right. for Thanks, Sam. Me. Appreciate you. Okay, so um, it's been a few days since Sam has been here, but thank you so much to Sam for coming out here and really explaining not only what was wrong with our carburetor and what we were not doing correctly and what exactly a carburetor did because I personally did not know, I just knew that probably wasn't working right. He showed us a few different things that were wrong with our carburetor, but the main thing is that the back of it is tilted up. When Sam was looking at our carburetor, he realized that it's bent up in the back where as we looked at pictures, we realized that it's supposed to be pretty flat so this is kind of throwing off all of our linkages in this area, making it so that they don't close the choke properly. So there are a few problems with um, just things catching and it just not being straight. So we are going to have to start looking into getting a new carburetor because Sam said if it was him, he would just get a new one. So now that Sam has made all of his adjustments and the carb should be working a little bit better, we are going to start it up cold and hopefully we will see the fast idle screw engage and the choke close. All right, so give us a press on the accelerator. Go ahead. Yep, it closed. It worked? Yeah, it's pretty closed. It looks like it could close a little more, honestly. Did you push it all the way to the ground? I don't okay. think so. Okay, and now once I push the accelerator just a little bit more, this flap down a little bit. But this is kind of what I mean is that what you were talking about where it it kind of doesn't allow all the movement, so it didn't quite close all the way. And now it's it's in a good position. I think that's about where it should be. And look, I'm seeing like here, mm -hmm. it looks a little seepy. Like here, that looks like, smell. Oh, so, that's hard to And it's gas. leaking, I think it's leaking a little gas. So maybe replacing this carb might oh no. be a pretty good The fast idle was doing better, but it still seemed like the carburetor was getting flooded with fuel. You ready? Rock and roll. Say again? Ooh. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Give it a shot again. Yeah. 
know, what you'll do is you'll hear the idle drop back down. There we go. You see, it's not letting it, it's not letting it move. I mean, it's okay. Okay, so we are wondering if we need to do another valve adjustment because of some sounds we're hearing coming from the engine. So to figure out if we need to do that, we are going to do another compression test on our newly fixed engine. So I'm just going to pull the coil and all of the spark plugs. Okay. Alright, so number one, here we go. One eighty. And go for it. Go for it. Okay, Al, ready when you are? That one is 170. Because we saw slightly lower compression on the fifth cylinder, we decided to try and fix it by loosening the rocker bolts to hopefully get it more pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna do a 45 degree turn on each. This is on cylinder five. There's 45 degrees there. And 45. Right, here? And go for it. Uh, same. Same. Oh. There's another 45 degrees on each. Let's go. That's 180. Oh, cool. I say we leave it. Yeah, if we're at 180, I say let's go with it. Cool. Okay, cool. Nice. So, we had a good result, and we thought we had figured it out. But, unfortunately, as we started driving Carl more, because we drive him all the time now, we started to hear a clicking sound, and we realized that we were not done tuning yet. Okay, so we're doing a little bit more tuning on the engine. We think it's running a little bit rich, which could be why things are flooding. So we're going to be advancing the timing to 12 to help with how rich the engine is. And we're also going to be tightening some of the valves. Uh-huh, you got it. So last time we were um, worried they were tight because our compression in one of our cylinders was low. Um, but we're realizing that we probably have them too loose now because we're still, because we are hearing a clicking sound. Um, so might be able to hear that too. We might be able to record that. Oh yeah, that might be interesting. So the first thing is we're just going to get it started up. Let's at least see if we get the choke closing when you hit the gas that one time. Okay, it closed mostly. All right, Elle. Give it a shot. It's cold. I love it. I love it. Ready? Rocket. It. We are. We're at 10. At 10. Yeah. All right. You hang there. Oh, that's, that's a damn thing. We're a little about 12 right now. 
a little above low. Yeah. That sounds pretty nice though. I think that's pretty good. I think that's good. I tightened it a little bit. It didn't move. Good. Okay, cool. So stay there. I'm gonna put it in dry. Okay. So with the timing up to 12 degrees and the engine warm, we decided to go back and adjust the valves again. <laughs> okay, that's got all the lash out of it. Why don't we do, so I'm we've got the lash out. Turning. That's good. So let's get the lash out of it. And then what if, you know, we're supposed to do a quarter turn. What if we I just do a, it. but what if we just do like a little bit, like, okay. like, so let's so call. So this is the lash out. Yeah, lash is out. Let's quarter turn would be here. Why don't you split here. that in half? Like that, yeah, I like that. That's the plan. Okay, so let's do this one. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Let me turn it to see how it is right now. Okay, very spinny. Okay, hold up. Yeah. Still spinning. Wow. Okay. Let's get that. Good, hold there. Come off. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's, that's good. Why don't you come back off? Like, back it off some? Sorry. No, you're good. I can still spin it just a little bit. Yeah, keep going. Good, hold there. Okay. It's so one, two, three, three four, four. So it's this one. Intake, right? Yep. Okay. Get off of there now. Okay, that that has snugged it up. Do you want me to literally spin it back just a little bit? Actually, I can just, like if I really crank on it, uh -huh. I can spin it like that. So I think that's good. Okay. So give me that extra. So here's that. Yep, there you go. Quarter, so, how's that? All right. Looks good. Adjusted. Okay. Let's get him buttoned up. Yeah. Okay, ready? Ready when you are. sound was a lot less but again as we started driving Carl more and more we heard more clicking sounds so needless to say we're still working on it there are a few things that we might have to do valve adjustments timing idle screws the fuel or we might even need a new carburetor so while Carl is running and starting better the engine still needs a little bit of work so what I'm taking out of the garage is that you don't always get a good result right away. Some things are just a work in progress and you have to keep at it. Thank you to Sam from Vintage Steel for coming down to our garage and helping us out. It was really nice to have someone who actually knew what they were talking about here. As always, thank you to my executive producer, Drew Carter. And if you would like to support me, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Ellie's Garage. I'll see you next time in the garage. Normally an hour or so, you can have one, two, three, three. Unless it has a big issue. That means I'm doing big issue. Yeah, it sounded like it was doing pretty well. It sounds very healthy. We made a healthy car! Yes. <laughs>